Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you like how to download your uh, custom datasets from this URL. I had uploaded my dataset in my Git, uh, GitHub repository. Now I will be showing you like how to download this dataset uh, in this collab uh, notebook, okay? And how to unzip that and how to prepare this data for our model training, okay? And I had already shown you like how to install this uh, uh, like yellow v uh, seven, okay? Inside this collab notebook, okay? So this is the code actually. I will uh, share this notebook with you, okay? So that you don't have to create this notebook. So let's run one by one, okay? First of all, I am doing the installation and all, okay? So this is the same command I am writing, but I have, I have kept inside. Uh, uh, uh one cell okay all the comments i have kept inside one cell and if you see it is installing torch library okay so it is uh, utilizing torch 1.11.0 okay now let's wait so guys our installation is done okay so now uh, this is the code for this uh, downloading the data set from the url okay so the same url i had copied from here like click on this download and copy the link address and paste this link here okay so paste this link here the same link i've just pasted okay so once you have done um, so this is the code uh, uh, for this uh, so this is the code for this so what i'm doing i'm downloading this uh, data uh, like uh, i'm saving it as uh, data underscore yellow v7.zip and then i'm doing the unzipping operation okay of this data and i'm deleting this zip file okay so once it is done and here i'm using curl command okay curl will actually download the data if you know like if you don't know curl is a linux command okay you can use curl command to download anything okay so now uh, let's uh, run run this file so now let's run this cell see it has downloaded my data uh, so see all the image file and all the level file i have okay inside this uh, collab okay right now so now what i need to do uh, so i think you remember we have kept two file empty like one is train.txt if you see here and one is like val.txt okay so now we need to uh, fill this file okay with some uh, like logic so what logic actually we need to do so here actually you need to prepare your image path okay in this txt file because yellow v7 takes the image uh, like path okay so if you see this is my images okay so inside train i have all my images so if i open this one uh, so this is my images suppose okay and if i just copy path here copy path and if i suppose paste it here so you can see this is the path of that images okay so this path actually i need to mention ins inside the txt file i have created not only one path i have to save all the path okay so this is the technique okay in this yellow v7 you can talk about okay so now let's run one by one so for that first of all what i am doing uh, i am writing a logic here so i am first of all taking my uh, training images folder okay this is my training images folder you can see uh, this is the training uh, training images folder location okay i am just copying the path and i am pasting here okay then i am uh, taking my validation folder path okay this is the validation folder path okay now let's run it now I am entering inside my content, okay, so this is the content and this is the logic actually for training images. So first of all, what I am doing, I am just opening this train.txt file in appending mode. Then I am doing this uh, os.list.dir, okay, on, on top of this folder. So it will return all the list of the images, okay, from this folder, okay, all the list of the images. And I am going through, uh, uh, I am applying a for loop, okay, I am taking all, uh, all the images one by one and I am joining the path, okay, and I am saving the path information. Now if I run it. Now, if I open my train.txt, now you will observe all the path I have saved here. Okay, so this is the logic of this code. Okay, so it will actually take uh, all the image path and it will save inside this train.txt folder. And similar wise, you, you need to also do for the validation set. Okay, so this is the code for that. So I am opening this val.txt in appending mode and I am doing the same. Okay, now if I open my validation.txt, so see all the validation image has been saved here. Okay, so now once it is done, you need to uh, like do a, you need to make a, a data. Uh, data configuration file okay so I, 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 so for that you need to enter inside yellow v7 there is a folder called data okay so this is the data so what you need to do you need to make a copy of this coco.yml okay coco.yml you need to make a copy okay so this is the command for this so it will just take this coco.yml and it will make a co copy in the same folder but with the name of this custom.yml okay so now let's run it okay now if i refresh here custom.yml has been created okay now if i open this custom.yml okay so now here actually you need to make some modification okay so if you see it has been trained with the coco data set that's why the number of classes was 80 okay this, these are the classes they have trained and this is the uh, like train location validation location test location okay so here we are not going to use that we'll be using our own uh, like uh, custom uh, here we'll be using our own uh, custom 
code okay so let me quickly copy that code i have already written so this is the code actually uh, this these are the parameter you need to configure so i will just copy and i will paste it here okay so see these are the thing actually you need to mention so first of all you need to mention your train.txt file, file location okay so just copy the path and paste it here that's it okay train and inside validation just paste the validation.txt this is the file and number of classes uh, how many number of classes you have i have six number of classes that's why i have mentioned six and all the classes name you need to write here okay in a list okay so this is what actually you need to change inside this custom.yml okay so once it is done you need to save okay you need to save this file and i will close this okay so yeah guys uh, this was all about uh, our data preparation okay for this model training so in our next video i'll be showing you like how to uh, download a pre-trained model okay and uh, how to start training process so yes guys uh, thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time